Hey everyone, my name is Kane Gaming and I've been a streamer for about three years and in that time one question that always comes up is how can I better engage with my viewers? Engaging with your viewers can turn someone that simply comes to your stream every single day into more of a community member. Now besides your awesome gameplay and your striking personality, one thing that can help you out with that is the stream elements loyalty system. So I'm going to quickly run through the system and show you how it works so that you too can implement it into your stream and begin using it today, tomorrow, right now. All right, let's take a look at it. First thing that you're going to want to do is click over here on the loyalty settings on the left side of the screen. This will take you to the screen that I'm currently on. And on this screen, as you can see here over on the right side, there is a nice summary of all your loyalty settings. So this is where you can see all your settings at a quick glance. Um, how many coins your viewers will receive, how many, how many coins or points um, your subscribers will receive, how many points you'll receive for cheering, how many points they'll receive for subscribing, how many points they'll get for following, tipping, posts, etc. So this is just a really quick glance way to see if you have the loyalty system enabled and working. Going through each individual setting, uh, here is where you can see the name of your currency, so you can call it whatever you want. Mine is Kingdom Coins because I am Kang and Kingdom Coins just sounded nice. <laughs> you can see the amount here. So this is for every 10 minutes, how many points they will receive. This is the multiplier. So you can set this for however many, however, whatever multiplier you want to set for your sub. So I have mine set to three times. So they'll get 30 points every 30 minutes. Um, the follower bonus. So whenever they follow, you can set this. I have mine set for 50. The tip bonus. So for every dollar that they tip, this is how many points they will receive. So mine is set for 200. So if they tip $5, they get a thousand points. Pretty simple. Um, subscriber bonus. So the first time that they subscribe, they get a bonus of this many points. You can set that however you like. Cheer. So for every 100 bits, this is how many points they will receive for those 100 bits. So pretty self explanatory there. And if you receive hosts, this is how many points they'll receive for hosts. Down here is the ignored user list. So this is you, this is if you have a user that you do not want to receive your currency, your points. Um, so I have myself in here because I don't want to have my myself gaining points because I'm always in my screen. Uh, so I'll be at the top of the list always. So I set myself to ignore. But you can set, you know, your bots, stream elements, any other things or, per or persons that you want to have ignored in this list here. Let's say you have a problematic viewer that you don't want to be interacting with your with your uh, with your currency, add them to the ignore list. So everything is pretty simple here. Again, you click over here on the left side, loyalty settings to get there. Next, let's go to the leaderboard. So this is the leaderboard. This is where you will see the current and all time top users that have points in your stream. So as you can see here, currently the number one, he has almost 65,000 points. If I go to all time, you can see a, a new view here. They have about 178,000 over their lifetime. So this is the max that they've ever had using this system. Uh, but you can go through here. There is you can delete a user. So if you don't want this user having these amount of points, go ahead and delete them. Easy peasy. You can also edit. So if I go here, I can actually add a number of points to this specific user. So let's go ahead and add give them one point. Go ahead and submit that. And then bam, as you see, it changed there. Um, again, you can del delete. I'm not going to do that because they'll be pretty upset. You can give points here as well. Just click on that and that will this way you can type in a user's name and add points to them. If you don't want to scroll through the entire list, if you just know their username, you can adjust it that way. This is to reset the entire leaderboard up here. Um, you probably don't want to do that, but for if for whatever reason you want to start over, go ahead and kick on reset and that will reset everything for you. Um, this is the public leaderboard. So this is what your viewers will see when they are interacting with the leaderboard on your stream. So if we look over here again, we have all the uh, quick information that the viewers can see. So again, this just summarizes everything, um, how many coins they earn for every 10 minutes, how many coins they currently have. It also tells them their rank and all the information about how they can um, gain coins or points, if you wish points, whatever you want to call your points bananas, coins, uh, toenails, whatever you call them, they'll see that information there. Um, so that is the public facing leaderboard. Next, we're going to talk about another way in which your viewers can interact with your points. That is the steam store. So if you click over here on the left, this takes you to the steam store. 
as you can see I, I already have a bunch of different things set up here that the viewers can redeem using their points um, so we have make it rain uh, a user can spend points to give all the other play all the other not players all the other viewers in the stream points as well um, that costs 1500 points so if you click on edit you can actually set the description the name of the uh, the item you can set the cooldowns the, the global or the user cooldown how much it costs um, negative one means that it will be unlimited so if you if this is something that someone can redeem over and over again you can just set it for negative one you can have it be a perk a sound effect or even a list so if it is a list that means let's say for example you reach out to a dev and they gave you a bunch of codes to give away for a particular game you can even have your users use their points to redeem codes and it will automatically give out those codes and then take them out of the list for you automatically so that's a pretty awesome system and a, and a great way to kind of automate giving out a bunch of codes to your viewers so it's a pretty awesome system here but that's just how you would set it up so let's say we this is this is okay for now let's just hit next we can set the image we can set the sound and the volume of the sound when it goes through the stream so this will pop up in the stream as well if you want using the overlay system which you can learn about in the description below um, you can also again right here this is where you set it if you want to show an alert and this is you can also set it so that it can be redeemed in the chat with a command and this is the command that they will have to type in the chat so exclamation redeem and then the command so that's up to you you can even make um, store items that are subscriber only it's your it's your choice there so you can check that if you would like to do that going to next if you want to if you have any other requirements for your store redeem let's say it's a physical item you need an address you can ask them for that when they're redeeming it or if you have if you're if it's something like follow someone on Twitter you need their Twitter name you can ask for that information here it is added as a requirement so it's pretty simple pretty powerful another way your viewers can engage and interact with the stream another thing that we have are the modules so over here the bottom left you can click on modules and there's all these fun little mini games that can be added and turned on during your stream um, as, you, as you can see I have a few of them turned on but depending on how your stream is set up in the way you want your viewers interacting in the stream you can have them all turned on you can have a couple of them turned on but these are also just another way your users can use their points to get more points they can gamble their points away using the, the using the roulette they can also use the slot machine uh, there is the raffle system which takes into account the points as well you can do bingo emote pyramid you can actually duel other viewers so you can do a one-on-one -on -one duel and bet someone a certain number of points and whoever wins takes home the pot so pretty pretty cool and fun things that you can do with the points using the modules and just again an, another way that your viewers can interact with you going over here to contest this is just another awesome way so let's say you're playing a game like dead by daylight and you want to you want to ask your viewers hey do you think i'm going to win this match or do you think i'm going to escape in this match you can use the contest system and they can bid yes or no or whatever option you want on that particular choice so let's say for example we're going to use this one so this question that i did during the stream i was playing death garden if you if you are familiar with that game but pretty much will i get three sniper kills yes no are the options and this is how they do it in the chat bet yes or bet no um this, this is the duration that the the bet will last the contest will last the minimum amount of points that they can use to bet and the maximum amount of points and then you can also have it set so it, it can do a confirmation in the chat room so that they are aware that they're using their points and, and everything went through correctly this can also show on the screen um, using the overlay the stream so you can set that up it looks pretty nice it's a great way again for the users and the viewers to interact with your stream using the points going over here finally to giveaways again another way to use their points you can do giveaways so I ran a giveaway here let's click on uh, this one Conan Exile was a, a game that came out a, a few weeks ago I did a giveaway of the game again they can use their points to enter into the giveaway easy you set the title a description a picture you can also set an option to give everyone their first ticket for free if you would like you can send a confirmation in the chat room so that the, so that they know that it went through correctly easy you can set it to subs only let's say if you want to kind of give back to your subs and do a sub only giveaway that option is there for you the amount of points per ticket is set here and this is the maximum amount of tickets that a person can purchase 
So it's pretty simple, pretty intuitive. You can even set the subscriber luck. So if you want to, if you want to give your subs a higher chance of winning your giveaway, you can use this slider here. So you can give them a two times chance or five times chance, whatever you want, 10 times chance if you wanted to. So again, they will enter the contest using their points. They, this can also appear on your stream using the overlay system. It looks pretty cool and another awesome and cool way to interact with your viewers. Another way your viewers can interact with the points is through the awesome new media request system. So here, this is the media request page. This is a video that would be playing on the stream. If we go here through the settings, we can see specifically pertaining to, to points is this section here. So we can set how many points it costs to request a song, the discount for your subs. So if you want to have a, a specific discount, 50%, 25%, whatever the case may be, you can enter that here. Um, and you can also set a minimum user level. So if you only want your subs to be able to be able to request songs, that is where you would do that right there. To wrap things up, I feel that engaging with your viewers is one of the most important things that a streamer can do. Engaging with a viewer can turn that person from someone who simply watches you to more of a community member. And stream in the stream elements loyalty system enables you to do that. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, be sure to leave one below. Also, you can check the description for other guides to the entire Stream Elements platform. Make sure you join the Discord as well because support is given there on a regular basis, almost 24-7. So again, thank you for watching and try out the loyalty system today.